Established in 1958, Nanya Plastics Corporation is one of Formosa Plastic Group's major business entities. As of September 2007, it is 12,906 employees with 2.5 billion US dollars of capitalization. Its turnover in the first half of 2007 was 3.2 billion US dollars. The turnover could reach 4.9 billion US dollars if the worldwide trans investments made by the company were included, which makes it the largest plastic second time processing plant, glass fiber cloth plant, and copper clad laminate plant in the world. At the same time, the production capacity of its polyester fiber plant also ranks second in the world. Following unceasing expansion and development over the years, its major products are across four industries plastics, fibers, electronic materials, and petrochemical materials. By integrating production and marketing and based on accountability principle and operating, the company is divided into nine business entities. Also some functional divisions such as R&D centers and Environment Safety and Health Office have also been set up. In the aspect of plastics, the monthly average PVC powder consumption is about 23,000 tons, which is mainly used in the cheap and fine second time processing products for the company's downstream clients to further process their products. The products come in a wealth of varieties and the applications are extensive. Most of them are daily necessities. The following are the major products. Flexible PVC sheeting. It can be applied to tablecloth, plastic wardrobes, shower curtains, raincoats, and inflation and stationary products. PU Synthetic Leather. It can be applied to shoes, bags, suitcases, and vehicle and furniture products, etc. Given close cooperation among the upstream, midstream, and downstream industries, along with products' versatility and advancement, a variety of plastic process products have taken the world by storm. It brings about the booming development of the plastic processing industry. Rigid PV Film. It can be applied to vacuum shaping, folding shaping, food packaging, stationery, printing and construction renovation, etc. Engineering materials. The major products include plastic pipes, fittings, rigid PVC sheets, vinyl windows and doors, and waterproof films, etc. Renovation materials. The major products include comfort furniture, ceiling panels, wall panels and tiles, etc. Film products. They mainly include BOPP films, CCP films, PVC films, and PE films, etc. Engineering plastics. It is equipped with excellent physical properties and friendly for processing and can be extensively applied to information, electronics, and electrics related products. BOPP synthetic paper. It is equipped with excellent physical properties and friendly for printing and waterproof and can be applied to magazines, labels, posters, and premium bags, etc. In the aspect of polyester fiber products, the company's total annual polyester production capacity is 2.09 million tons, in which Taiwan's plant accounts for 0.74 million tons, China's plant takes up 0.27 million tons, the US plant contributes 0.86 million tons, and Vietnam's plant provides 0.27 million tons. With a significant production capacity, our company turns out to be one of the world major polyester fiber plants in terms of scale and automation. We mainly produce fiber material related products including polyester stable fibers, polyester chips, polyester tablets, polyester fully oriented yarn, polyester partially oriented yarn, polyester textured yarn, polyester dyed textured yarn, and polyester films, etc. In addition, we have also further developed high-value-added products such as health fibers, far-infrared fibers, spandex yarn, different shrinkage yarn, fine denim yarn, extra-fine fiber yarn, and their textured yarn, etc. In an attempt to boost the markets of textile, garments, food packaging containers, and audiovisual materials within and without. In the aspect of petrochemical material products, in order to alleviate material shortage problem, prompt the development of the petrochemical industry, and upgrade the industry, our company has a joint venture with its affiliated companies, Formosa Plastics Corporation and Formosa Chemicals and Fiber Corporation, to found Formosa Petrochemical Corporation. Together, they jointly participated in the number no. 6 NAFA Cracker project, for which the total investment amount for the first stage through the fourth stage is expected to arrive at 18.5 billion US dollars. 
The base of the number six Naftha Cracker project is the reclaiming land formed by filling sand into the sea. After its development, the total space will be about 2,603 hectares and 61 plants are scheduled for construction on the land. Mailiao Industrial Port. The waters of the port are 477 hectares in space and 24 meters in depth, which makes the port the deepest one in Taiwan and sufficient for 260,000 ton vessels. The port's annual shipment handling capacity can reach as much as 60 million tons. Oil refinery and naphtha cracker plant. Currently, the daily output of the oil refinery is 450,000 barrels. However, after project completion, the daily output is expected to reach 540,000 barrels, which may produce 4 million tons of naphtha and 2.94 million tons of ethylene every year. Power plant and cogeneration plant. Four thermal generators have been constructed. So far, the power capacity has reached 1.8 million watts, which may alleviate power deficiency problem in Taiwan. In addition, 16 cogeneration plants have been set up, which may produce electricity for about 2.82 million watts, steam and a variety of industrial use water and gas, etc., for the number six naphtha cracker project related plants to use. There are also mechanical plants, boiler plants, and dozens of petrochemical intermediate material plants, in which the items invested by the company individually include plasticizer, epoxy resin, phthalic anhydride, 2-ethyl hexanol, bisphenol A, glycol, toluene diisocyanate, 1 and 4 butanediol, isononyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, epoxidized soybean sill, chlorinated polyethylene, and antioxidant, etc. With the stage one through four of number six naphtha cracker project, the plant's yearly output in 2006 already achieved 31.9 billion US dollars, accounting for 8.4% of total GNP in that year. In the aspect of mechanical equipment and M&E engineering, our company's engineering and construction division is in a strong position to develop and produce the whole petrochemical plant equipment, plastics, fiber processing equipment, and various gear molds it is equal to the tasks of plant planning, designing, fabrication and installation, which makes our company a leading firm in Taiwan for the production and installation of mechanical equipment, accessories and spare parts. In addition, our company also specializes in manufacturing and assembling a variety of switchgear and control panels, glass fiber resin, dry type distribution transformers, current transformers, potential transformers, vacuum circuit breakers, vacuum electromagnetic contactors, and bus ducts, etc. The products are with excellent quality and have passed the type testing conducted by world-acknowledged accreditation organizations. Currently, the company is further working to develop gas insulation ultra-voltage control panels in the hope of expanding its product's application field. In the aspect of electronic material products, in view of the rapid development of the IT and multimedia industries, our company has cooperated with its trans-investing companies, Nanya Printed Circuit Board Corporation and PFG Fiberglass Corporation to plan and produce a series of products, including printed circuit boards, copper-clad laminates, epoxy resin, bisphenol A, copper foil, glass fiber cloth and glass fiber yarn, etc. With those products, a vertical integrated production system covering upstream, midstream and downstream industries has been built to an extent of self-sufficiency, and our market competition edge has therefore been strengthened. Out of these products, copper clad laminates are one of the main products selling the world over. Their annual output, including that from our China plant, has come to 48 million pieces, which puts us as one of the world copper clad laminate manufacturing giants. As to printed circuit boards, given our continual development and expansion, our total annual output, including that from our China plant, has come to 24 million square feet, which makes us the top in the world. In addition, LCD and its color filters are also the target that our company plans to develop. Furthermore, Nanya Technology Corporation, a company trans-invested by our company, is one of the local major semiconductor plants. Other than manufacturing the advanced DRAM, it has currently devoted its efforts in full swing to developing a market of the new generation DDR3 and continued to proceed with researching and developing new generation process technology. Beyond all the above mentioned efforts, we have also kept controlling our cost so as to enhance our market competitiveness. 
Moreover, Nanya Technology Corporation already signed a joint development contract with German Chimonda AG in December 2002 to jointly develop 90, 70, and 60 nanoprocess technology. At the same time, they have also co-invested to establish InnoTerra Memories Incorporation to produce 12-inch silicon wafers to maintain their competitive edge. Nanya Technologies' newly established 12-inch wafer plant has started mass production. In the aspect of transport, in order to conveniently transport materials and finished products and effectively lower transportation cost, in addition to investing in Formosa Plastics Transport Corporation for land transportation, our company also established the first chemical fleet of ships in Taiwan in 1981. Currently, it has a fleet of 38 ships, including nine of the most advanced petrochemical boats, five finished product tankers, three 28 to 30,000 ton crude oil tankers, six 60 to 170,000 ton brake bulk vessels, three LPG tankers, eight container ships, and four sand suction dredgers to transport number six naphtha cracker plants oil products, petrochemical materials, and the coal used by the power plant. In the aspect of offshore investments, our company has production plants respectively in the US, China, and Indonesia, for our investment in the U.S., we have a flexible PVC sheeting plant in Louisiana and a rigid PVC film plant in Texas, in which their annual output is 50,000 tons and 60,000 tons respectively. They are respectively the largest flexible PVC sheeting plant and rigid PVC film plant in the U.S. In addition, we also have a polyester fiber plant in South Carolina with annual output at 0.86 million tons and an upstream glycol plant in Texas with annual output at 0.37 million tons. The polyester fiber plant ranks one of the top manufacturers of its kind in the U.S. For our investment in China, we have a plant in Guangzhou City of Guangdong Province to produce flexible and rigid PVC sheeting, rubber, rigid pipes, and PVC components. A plant in Huizhou City to produce PU synthetic leather, soft leather, UP resin, engineering plastics, and BOPP films. A plant respectively in Xiamen City of Fujian Province, Wuhu City of Anhui Province, Donin City of Shandong Province, Anshan City of Liaoning Province, and Zhenzhou City of Henan Province. Nantong City of Jiangsu Province. These plants collectively produce flexible and rigid PVC sheeting, rubber, PU synthetic films, BOPP films, extrusion construction material, cogeneration products, and power panels. A plant in Quenshan City to produce circuit boards, copper clad laminates, copper foil, epoxy resin, glass fiber cloth, glass fiber yarn, cogeneration products, polyester chips, polyester staple fibers, polyester fully oriented yarn, polyester partially oriented yarn, polyester textured yarn, polyester dyed textured yarn, dyed knitting fabric, and dyed woven fabric, etc. and a plant in Chongqing City to produce rigid pipes, PE films, and extrusion construction material in an attempt to win more of China's local market share through integrated planning and investment deployment so as to effectively expand our business territory. For our investment in Vietnam, we have a plant at Nong Trac Industrial Zone in Dong Nai Province of Vietnam to produce polyester chips, polyester staple fiber, SPP chips, polyester fully oriented yarn, polyester partially oriented yarn, polyester textured yarn, and BOPP films. It is the largest chemical fiber plant in Vietnam. For our investment in Indonesia, we have a plant at Semarang to produce flexible and rigid PVC sheeting and rubber. It is one of the top flexible and rigid PVC sheeting plants in Indonesia in terms of scale. In the future, with our dedication, we will continue to offer excellent products as our contribution to society and play a more active role in the 